Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my studio. Stella here. So today I'm using King R24 watercolor paint set to create retro cassette from the 1980s and um, 90s, commissioned by my licensing agent. These are the brushes, also from King R. I'll be using. There's a 10% discount code that will be listed in the description down below. The direction I get is we want something more graphic looking, so I'm actually going to apply a layer of latex white paint to make it really, really flat and very smooth. Then I will apply another layer of watercolor on top of it after this paper dries. This is actually Portofino 100% watercolor cotton paper at 140 pounds. Air drying, now let's begin. So I'll be using black, gray, and this chromatac pen from Japan. I'm adding a layer of water on top of the latex paint because I want the watercolor to not be absorbed by the paper, if that makes any sense. Since I'm trying to create a very graphic -y, old vintage look, this is the only way I found that recreates that look. As you can see, as I'm pushing the paint with my brush, it's not being absorbed by the paper. So what will happen is when the watercolor paint on top dries up, it will actually create a very crackly, now you can see it, a very uneven, kind of like an old newspaper print look. And that's exactly the style of look I'm trying to achieve here. Now I'm going to stop talking so you can watch how I paint this. So I'm really liking this oval petal number six brush from King Art because it's got that really sharp nib that you can create really fine lines, but then it also has a very flat body that you can press it down and expand and spread the ink as though this is a flathead brush. So it's like dual purpose. So this number 10 Max Round Brush from King Art is by far my favorite. The fine lines that you can create with it is just superb. And I also love the fact that the individual brushes, they don't kind of like come off and I have to constantly be picking them off of my painting because it just gets stuck with the paint. So I'm adding water here and as you can see because I added the latex paint, the paper is not absorbing water so you literally have blobs of water just sitting on it which is exactly what I want. Remember once the water and almost like ink like paint, when they both dried up, they create this really like crackly and textured look with a slightly raised surface and that's, that's the vintage look right? So let's talk about the King Art watercolor set. It's very economical if you are an artist on a budget like me. It's not expensive at all. Go down to the description and use my discount coupon at a checkout. Um, consistency wise, it is definitely not a transparent watercolor set because the color itself definitely will add. You can actually build upon it. Um, but obviously it's not oil painting, it's not acrylic painting, it doesn't get that thick, it doesn't get that saturated. So it's kind of in between a transparent watercolor set and acrylic paint. My final thoughts is that if you are an artist on a budget like me, uh, King Art Supplies definitely offer you very good functionality and obviously affordability for you to create top-notch work. If you have seen my other videos, I use Chromatech watercolor pen a lot. Description down below, you can get this easily on Amazon. 
I like to use it probably because I was trained as an illustrator. I like to be able to illustrate things. And I would literally use it to apply the color in very specific line and then use a brush to open it up. All in all, I think my inspiration for this retro cassette, other than the fact that it's actually commissioned by my licensing agent, is the fact that I think on some level, we all wish that we can rewind time, literally rewinding, remember? That's what we can do with the cassette, A side, B side. Don't we all wish that we can record our lives neatly on the A side and then switch it to the B side and somehow if we feel like it, we can rewind it, fast forward it, or even pause? Yeah, one of those perks that the, let me see, the Gen Z would know about. Alright, peace out. See you on my next video. Ciao.